All right, I'm sneaking in real quick. I know I do this a lot, but like I ramble too much and all that stuff. I'm sneaking in real quick to let you guys know. I know I said this was going to be a short video, but I kind of wanted to explain the event as well as show you all the bosses in one video. So if you want to stick around for all that content, um, I would appreciate it. Um, and let's go Halloween. This event, Road to 325 is starting up, but I probably shouldn't say anything. That's all in the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Yo, what's cooking? We're looking to the Soul Entertainment TV, and today we are talking about the Dead Frontier event. Um, sorry, uh, that they have going on. It just dropped, uh, obviously, today, the 21st, and it will be happening all the way up until it's called the Terror, uh, the Tendrils of Terror has begun. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, the whole Tendril thing, but it says. Uh, from now until November 6th, you will be able to battle the new Orange Shack Tendril boss and all uh, all our previous Halloween infected types. However, when I looked on this map here, I haven't seen it yet. Um, I haven't seen it pop up yet, but I have not seen the Slenderman. I don't know if he'll be in this, um, but we'll see. I would assume he would be Halloween. That would only make sense. Um take on the Deadly Orange Jack and White Jack Bandits, which I didn't even know that they were going to be different. Otherwise, I would have rushed to the Bandit Zone and done those. Yikes. Okay, so I'll have to wait to do that in probably in a separate video. I think that today I'm going to be explaining this and then maybe doing some of the, some of the bosses as well. Um, you'll be able to craft a brand new pistol, and, uh, pistol, implant, and a cosmetic headpiece. Get a massive 200% EXP boost, 80% more loot spots, 35% looting speed, 100% weapon and armor, and 100% ammo cash for the entire 17 days. Um, grab a new limited edition weapon and implant from the credit shop and get an extra 20% credits with every person purchase. Miss it at your peril. Um, smiley face. So these are the new uh, weapon and implant that you can buy from the uh from the shop i believe or is it the i don't know if that's right yeah okay so they the, the, the thing is a little messed up now that i'm looking at it um so the orange jack pumpkin is 777 and over here i thought that was a ho a naked horse or some shit uh, oh i clicked on the wrong one Hello? I just, I literally just wanted to look at the thing and I, I fucked it up. Um, it says over here the orange check implant is 5, 5, and 5. So, I'll explain that in a second. But, essentially, uh, this claw shot 16 with huge knockback um, should be, I'm not sure, I don't think it's on here yet. Um, so, none of this stuff. Unless I just missed it. I don't think it would be like as bad as some of these here. So it's not quite out yet. Um, but I will see if I can get any information on that. Um, and then obviously the orange jack implant is 777. That's the one that you buy from the credit shop. Uh, and then over here is the claw shot. Um, take 16 gauge, uh, 30 round capacity, fast reload, average firing speed, average accuracy, zero critical hit chance, and 120 shotgun skill required. Um, orange check, obviously, 777, 7% damage inflicted, 7% movement speed, 7% more loot spot. So that's a really good one. I'm debating on whether or not I want to buy that, or if I just want to craft the new implant that they have in here, which, first of all, orange jackhead and white jackhead um this one costs 15 mysterious charms this one costs 10 mysterious charms we'll get into that um probably once we start bossing or whatever um and then you have the white jack implant so the white jack implant is the one that is five five and five um which you can obviously just craft uh right here as long as you have the 15 mysterious implants they cannot be you cannot use both of them as you can see um, I pointed to my screen, I don't know why. But as you can see down below, it says that the, it cannot be combined with the orange jack implant. So don't make both of them if you don't, you know, if you don't want to fuck yourself. 
Um, if you're going to get the orange jack implant, you don't have to make the white jack implant. Um, it's non-transferable, so there really wouldn't be any point in you making it. Unless you want to just be that guy and have everything. Have, like, every event item. Which, I mean, in that case, okay, you do you. You do you, brother. Um, and here's the hand talent. Now, I don't actually think there was anything on this either um, when I looked for it. Let's see, we'll go to pistols. And we'll scroll down a decent bit here. It usually does take a while to get these things on here. But, you know, I, I always check just in case, you know, for the video. I'll always check just to see. I literally don't know what that is. So, okay. So, the Hand Talon 38. We'll get some more information on it eventually. Um, about, like, how much damage it does per second, etc., etc. But as of right now, it is a handgun that takes .38 handgun bullets, which... I mean... When was the last time they released a gun that took .38? Let's see here. I'm, I'm, I'm still scrolling. I'm still scrolling. Hmm. I'm still scrolling. Ah, the Lock 25. Is that... <laughs> It looks like it's the last one. There might be some, like, sub-guns that took .38 or whatever, but pistol? This is the first one in a long time. Uh, 21 round capacity, fast reload speed, slow firing speed, average accuracy, high critical hit chance, 120 pistol skill re required, and it is a three-round burst. Um, we will go over the these weapons in a later video. Um, I'll have a video specifically to show off these weapons. Um, obviously I'm going to be making one of the, I might even just make both just because I can, because the white jack one looks cool and the orange one looks cool too, because it's like actually a pumpkin. Um, but let me see just in the shop real quick if they have any, uh, cause I didn't see anything on the form about like any Halloween thing. Oh, they don't call it that. I forgot. It's a trick or treat. I didn't see anything about it, but... Oh, no, here they are. Okay. So, they, they, they do have some, I guess. 2022. Uh, oh, yeah, I probably just didn't... I think I did see them down at the bottom. I just didn't pay attention to them. So, 11.5% chance to find a severed hand, child's body, and candy. 46.1% chance to find Halloween candy. 11.5% chance to find Halloween implant. And a 7.6% chance of finding a mysterious charm. Let's go back to here. Um, yeah, so... No, these weren't it. I just saw that. I was like, oh, okay. Um, it says right down here, P.S. Please accept my apologies for not announcing the Halloween events in advance. Our new baby was due right around the time I wanted the event to start. And I didn't want to promise a specific date and then let you all down because I had to run off to the hospital, etc. Our little girl has arrived, has now arrived safely, so I was able to start the event this morning. Thanks for understanding. Neil, you're always having kids, motherfucker. Why don't you stop having kids and adopt me, and I'll be... I'll run around and, and you know, make little dead frontier noises or whatever. I don't care. Whatever you want from me. Um, so, give me one second. I'm going to check to see how long this is, it's been, and then I'm going to decide whether or not we're going to do the bosses in a separate video or if we'll do them in this video. Alright, so I decided we're going to do the bosses in this video because it was a little bit short. Um, and that way I'll be able to show off the bosses as well as... Because I'll be obviously doing more videos on the bosses. Um, as well as explain to you the to you guys the event. And shout out to this guy, uh, Cult of Stefan, Stefan, Stef Steven, whatever. Um, he commented on the community post that I made, which if you guys don't know, I have been making more community posts recently. Um, he said, I hope we get leaks on the new weapons on the event. And I told him before the event even dropped, obviously 12 hours ago, that was like 3 in the morning. Um, I told him to stock up on .38 and 16 gauge. I said, but you didn't hear that from me. Um, I might also be wrong, just a hunch. And it turns out that we got a new pistol that takes 38 and a new shotgun that takes 16 gauge. Your boy might have had some insider information. Who knows? We'll never know. We're going to go check out the pumpkin tendrils, because I'm actually... 
I can't say I'm excited to see them. I'm a little scared because, you know, you guys know I'm not necessarily the best at this game. Um, but, <laughs> but we will try here. Uh, do I do multiplayer or do I do a single player for this? I think in order to, to properly show off the bosses, I'm going to do single player. Um, and then like any other, like once I do them each one time on video, then I will do the multiplayer aspect. So give me one second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into single player and then I'm going to get to the boss and I'll, I'll start back up. All right. So we are here at the boss area. Now I just have to wait for him to show up. I don't think that the regular tendril is them. So like I said, I have no idea what I'm looking for right now. Oh, fucking hell. That bitch is fast as fuck, boy. I don't think you understand. Oh. Hey, yeah, they are definitely very fast. They don't play around, apparently. It might even be a more useful thing to use the hailstorm here. Because um, if you're not as fast as, like, I am, or as some people are in this game, you might just get smoked. I have no idea how much damage they do. Um, I couldn't find them on the bosses thing, obviously. That hasn't been updated yet. But I'm going to just try to avoid getting hit, which I'm not notoriously good at. <laughs> but I'm going to try to avoid getting hit and... Uh, see what they drop. Oh my goodness, that dog. I hate dogs in this game so much, dude. Whether they're big or they're small, I hate them all. I'm not gonna lie. I love them in real life, but dogs in this video game can suck a fucking fat one. Oh, oh no. Um, so obviously I went into single player for this, guys. Uh, I, like I said, I wanted to be able to show off the boss without people doing explosions and, and flamethrowers and this and that, blah, 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 blah dragging them all over the place so um it's pretty cool it's pretty badass actually i i do like the design i like how their tendrils aren't just like orange or yellow they're kind of like they kind of have a mix of both in there so it kind of looks like they're uh almost lava-y or burned in a way um and then obviously they have that really super dope 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 golden pumpkin head which by the way neil when can I get a golden pumpkin head like the one that this person has on here? I'll, I'll sell my cloak for it. All right, I got hit. Uh, that spider came out of nowhere and really dogged me. It looks like they might do... Damn, like 300 damage. Well, maybe about 250. They might do 250. Somewhere along those lines. Um, obviously, the Vengeance Guard absorbing... 90 is it 90 or 95 percent of that it's quite a fucking bit no matter which way you look at it um we're probably gonna get i don't know if these guys drop anything special um or if they're just gonna drop the trick or treats like normal um we will i mean we'll find out once we get to that point um i'm still gonna i just want to keep talking about their design because it's super cool i really want that pumpkin head that they have on their face uh, because the normal pumpkin head, like, couldn't give a fuck about. But this one here? Nah, this one's dope, son. I just want their whole design. Um. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about is that I'm going to be starting back up my road to 325 on this account. Um, now that this Halloween event has started and I have a 372% EXP boost... Be on the lookout for a lot of Wasteland grinding videos, boys. Every hour that I have of my life currently, all the way up until November 7th, I will be grinding in the Wastelands. I will be killing these bosses. I will be preparing for the Halloween video um, where I most likely inevitably open a bunch of Halloween products. Um, and then maybe, just maybe, even... Uh, do some bosses and stuff. Like, one mega video where I open them and do bosses and, you know, talk a bunch of shit about Neil as usual. But, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but I, I am going to be starting up my road to 325 again. I'm going to try to get to 325. Oh, you lost your head before and you, you, you ran away to get it back and then, and then came back. That's cool. Um, they regenerate and shit. Not health, but like, you know. You know what I mean. Because if they regenerated health, I'd be... I'd be skirt. Um, 
but yeah, I want to try to get the 325 during this event. Um, I'm currently at 259. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bitch. It's gonna be quite the move, but I'm hoping. Wow, they just come in speeding <laughs> like a bullet, don't they? Jesus Christ, dude. Like I said, those tendrils just having like the orange and yellow and black and like, they look like molten lava. They look fucking sick gnarly, brother. Uh, very good design on these. Um, I might make, I might have my girlfriend make a plushie of these because these are fucking sick. She crochets. So if I can get a, if I can get a frontal picture of this thing, which eventually I'm assuming somebody will make some kind of art for it. Um, and then I'll add that. I can have her make a plush of it, because it's dope. Um. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I, like, just woke up, even though it's 4 in the afternoon. I didn't go to bed for, like, fucking... Obviously, I messaged that guy at, like, 4 or 5 a.m., so... I went to bed pretty late. Um. But, Jesus Christ... I honestly, if I would have known that these bosses would have been so hard and took so long, I would I would have just sped this part up. I didn't even check like my experience to see how much I was gonna get from this. Cause I'm getting like 50k per cycle right now, and that's that's pretty gnarly. Again, even though I mean even though there's set 372% boost, that's still pretty gnarly. Alright. This is going to be a long video, guys. Hopefully, you guys are here for it. Hopefully, you guys stick around. If you've made it to this point, go ahead and go down to the comment section and type, Let's Go Halloween Event. Um, because, I mean, it's it's a pretty average Halloween event in terms of, like, the the stuff that you get. You know, the EXP boost and the armor and weapon find, blah, 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 blah. But, like, this is pretty dope. This is pretty dope. Like, Let's Go Halloween Event. I'm stoked. I can't wait to play this game and, you know, get... Hopefully 325. I know that that's gonna kick my ass and it's gonna be painful to do, but uh, cause I'm I'm gonna have the hardcore cause I still have to record other stuff, so I'm gonna have to like do six hours of grinding in the wasteland, do hardcore, do the stuff for the Halloween event like where I'm showing off the bosses and you know all that stuff and and doing the Halloween special and. You know, doing uh, the boss hunts and, you know, all that stuff. Even though the boss hunts are going to pretty much be taking a back seat um, as of now. Because, obviously, there are really no other bosses spawning. Trick or Treat 2022. Let's go, boys. I didn't actually mean to do that. That was a misclick. Um, another Trick or Treat 2022. Helps me towards the goal. Oh, I got one right here. Let's get it. All right. Rush. Run. <laughs> and then we will go over to second or not second on Bunker. I'm sorry. Excuse me. We will go over to Precinct 13, where I will be taking on the regular pumpkin head. See if they've changed anything with the design. See if I can get some trick or treat 2022s. And then um, I will be going into the wasteland to be. Oh, my goodness. Look at that pin action. Um, I will be going into the wastelands to see uh, what the werewolves are about. Cause I actually don't think I I fought those before. I think that they were released when I wasn't playing. So um, I'll get to figure out what those are. And if you haven't seen them, you'll get to figure out what those are. And we will see what it's like fighting them in uh, the wasteland. So I will go heal myself up and get everything ready. And I'll be right back. All right. And we are here where the pumpkin head zombies should be. Um... Before I actually get into fighting though, so yeah, sure, use it. Why not? It's not gonna do anything for me. Shout out to the little, the little cosmetic design, the little leaves on the ground for fall. That's pretty cute. Um, I definitely just said that. Oh, I didn't realize, bro. It was so dark. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Oh, sick. So they're white. They got white pumpkin heads. All right. I probably read something about that, but I'm so old. I don't ever remember my man's, my my dudes. Um, man, that white pumpkin head just looks sick, dude. Okay, cool. There's a lot of cosmetic things that are going on right now that are pretty dope. Um, I guess we will kill them and we'll see what we get. Probably 
Trick or Treat 2022s. But I'm showing this off for everybody because, you know, there might be some lower level players that aren't at Second Arm Bunker um, who might want to see them. Okay. They explode, I guess, and I was just accidentally near one. Yeah, okay, so they explode. Whoopsie. I did not know that. It's been a Guys, it's been a while since I played a Death Frontier Halloween event. You're going to have to forgive me. Um, I was actually just going to say before that, that thing blew up that like I was going to try and go a little easier on it so we could keep them around for a little while. But after it blew up, I was like, nah, I got to get that ass now, boy. I got I to gotta get that ass now. I'm so like I was saying, uh, there might be some people who don't have UWCs and are in second on bunker and this and that, blah, 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 who, who want to see what their part of the event would look like. So those are the white pumpkin head zombies. Don't get too close to them. Um, they will, oh shit, sick, dude. They will explode. Um, and they have, let me just, oh, a shovel, thanks. Give me one second, I'm gonna go see how much health they have. Alright, so the most I could find is 5,000 for this regular pumpkin head zombie. I'm not sure if they're the same, just with a different dyed, like, uh, like helmet or helmet, the different dyed pumpkin. Um, so they might, it might have been 5,000 health, because honestly, and they do explode, they did do about 35 damage. Um, honestly, they didn't have that much health to begin with. I saw, what I was saying earlier, I haven't seen the Slenderman zombie, and I also haven't seen the Wendigo pop up, so, maybe they'll pop up and maybe I'll get to do them, but for today's episode, we're gonna do the Tendril, we're gonna do the Pumpkinhead zombie, and we are going to do the Werewoos, which, I, I haven't been in, uh... I haven't been in the Wastelands in forever, and I also haven't fought this boss ever. It has an enraged speed of 11. That's pretty fast, dude. That is pretty fast. So, we will, uh, we'll see what we're about to get into. You think, my man? You think I got it? No? Oh, the infected down there are beyond anything any of us imagined. Okay, cool. What about you, brother? You think I got this? Shit, none of them think I have it. Okay, uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, so right down here, there should be the werewoos. The werewoos, whatever they call them. Um, I did do a little bit of an aggro test, because like I said, I haven't been down here in a while, and I wanted to see if I could outrun them. I th think I should do just fine, but I'm about to eat my words. I guarantee it, because uh, everything's going to start running at me as soon as I get in here. And I don't remember the layouts. Back when I used to play, I would memorize the layouts of where I liked to hunt at. I don't know the layouts. I don't remember them. Um, and everything is super fast. Ooh, that was almost very rough. Very rough indeed. Okay, and they're fucking huge! Oh my god, dude! That guy's a giant! He's taller than I am, and my guy's at least four foot eight. Oh, shit. Alright. Gotta pay attention to what's behind you, nip sh dipshit. Not that I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to loot these things, because let's be honest, the aggro's never going to let up. Hmm. I might take this part out and split it into two separate videos, because this is gonna take a while. A long ass time, brother. Let me see if they have... They don't have any cages or nothing like that around here, so... It's not even like you could be stealthy, because... Well, I mean, how the fuck are you gonna do that? Everything's already running at you anyway. So it's not like you're gonna whip out the Barnell and start shooting shit. You gotta, you gotta hold back that aggro, man. I'm getting about 100,000 experience per cycle, though. Depending on what I'm hitting, because these werewolves don't give as much experience as I'm assuming all the other stuff that's running at you. So depending on what I'm hitting, I'm getting about 100k per cycle. Woo! She woo! 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 <laughs> Man, that was close. Um. Yeah, about 100k per cycle. So that's actually not that bad. Hmm. Maybe, maybe the leveling up won't be as hard as I think it's gonna be. Alright, I am, like, up against a wall right now with all this shit here. They got a couple of fences here, but I don't think that's gonna do much of anything. Alright, we gotta get, we gotta get around from this, this little right corner, right bottom hand corner here. 
I might just go silent and speed this up, honestly. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So give me one second, guys. I'm gonna cut my webcam and I'm gonna cut the mic and then I'm gonna fight these things and uh, speed it up so that way you don't have to sit here through this. Give me one second. Once I open this... Uh... Oh, and there's a Titan. Okay, cool. Once I open this map here. Okay, and we've made it back. Obviously, as you can see, I took a little bit of a beating. Um, that was mostly while I was obtaining. Uh, we leveled up, by the way. I'll just say that. Um, that was mostly while I was obtaining the trick or treats because everything is still running after you, and it's just a fucking, just a shit show, honestly. Um, sorry if this video wasn't that interesting commentary wise. Like I said, I really I just woke up and then like, you know, the most commentary I could pretty much give was on the new bosses I haven't fought, which were all quick as fucking cool as shit. Um, but, let's see, let's look at, I can't do it here. 
the 2022 versions are right now they're selling for 68k so if you guys want to make some easy fucking money sixty eight thousand dollars you mean to tell me i can get a rip saw g12 out of this brother what and it's only three and a half million get fucked <laughs> All right, that was pretty cool. I can't wait to make more content on this event. Uh, hopefully, like I said, the road to 325 is going to start up. I got 65 more levels to go. Ooh, I am not excited. I don't know if you guys can hear that because I do have some suppression on my mic. But there is somebody just decided it was time to, to like mow and mow their lawn and shit outside. So that's, that's kind of rough. But, um. Yeah, and I said this was going to be a short video, too. I fucking lied, guys. I lied. I just can't. I love making content, dude. I, I love making long videos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I um, mean, if you made it this far, um, I don't know what you could put. You could put uh, Road to 325. You could put that in your thing. If you know both of the code words, um, thank you. And, 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 you know, that means that you, you watched the entire thing. Um, and I really appreciate that. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm and all that and help gets this content out there. Um, so yeah, if you've made it this far, you can do the road to 325 and I'll probably put a little thing, a little disclaimer in the beginning of the video that like, it's not going to be a short video, even though I said it was going to be in my community post, whatever. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, the like button, subscribe button, and share button, definitely leave a comment down below letting me know what you want to see next or what you thought of the video. And definitely be sure to go down and turn on post notifications so you can find every time I upload a video because you're not going to miss what is next. Got a lot of new content, different content dropping soon with the road to, well, road to 325 isn't new, but we're bringing it back and I might even start playing some other games. And if you guys are interested in that and interested in sticking around with me, be sure to do all those things. I will see you in the next one.